The Fusion 3D Basics. Today's video is sponsored by the Green Lantern. First of all, you need to bring a Shape 3D node. Change the shape to cube. If you try to connect your shape to the out point, you'll find out that is not possible. For this, you need to bring a Render 3D node after your shape. Now you can connect the Render node to the out point. First thing you need to do here is to check the lighting and the shadow box, so your shape will be affected by light and shadows. As you can see, your 3D looks terrible now. That's because you don't have any light source in your scene. Select your shape node and add a merge 3D after. Drag this merge node to the left viewer so that you can see your shape in 3D space. By default, the view is set to perspective. With the merge node selected, add a point light. Nothing will change yet, because your light is set in the middle of your scene by default. If you right click in the bottom right corner of the viewer, you'll get this menu where you can change the view mode. Change it to top view. Select your light and move it away from the shape. Play around with the light sliders to find out what works best for you. Go to the Transform tab and adjust the position of the light even more. Select the Shape node, go to the Transform tab, and here you can animate your shape. Go to the Material tab, and here you can give a basic color, or adjust the opacity of the shape. Or you can use a shader. Go to the Effects library, under the Templates, Shaders, bring one shader into the flow, and connect it to the green point of the shape. You can also download some shaders from the Reactor plugin, or buy some from any 3D site. If you want to add a camera in your scene, select the Merge node and bring a camera 3D. By default, the camera will be again in the middle, go to the Transform tab and move it again away. You can check the target box, and now your camera will point always in this target point. Animate the position of the camera, the shape position, or you can even animate the light position if you want. If you want to add more shapes in your scene, bring another 3D shape node and connect it to the merge node. Move it to the 3D space, adjust the size and animate it. You can add as many shapes you want. You can add an ambient light also if you want, which is basically like a huge sun. After this tutorial you can make your super realistic 3D blockbuster just in the fusion page. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, I will lose my sleep now.